Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. Stay inspired to wise up and rise up above these narcissists. And with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. What that does is it helps with the algorithm so that this message can get out to more people who need to be inspired that are who are dealing with either narcissistic, abusive parents, relationship, etc. So with that being said, you clicked on this video because you want to know more tips and tools on how to break it down and understand how to talk to your kids if you were in a narcissistic, abusive relationship with their their parent and you're finding what you're finding and you're seeing that there's certain tactics of the narcissist that they're using now on the kids how do you approach that how do you talk to your kids about that and the reason why i wanted to talk about this is because i'm experiencing it and you know that if you're new to my channel i used to be in an 18 years narcissistic abusive relationship my ex is you know the father of my daughter so and my daughter's 14, so I see certain things, certain behaviors that the narcissist used to use on me that's now using on my daughter. And I did a, t I did a TikTok live yesterday, and I actually got a mother of, I believe, a 15-year-old and a 4-year-old was asking me, how do you talk to your kids about that? Like, how do you, how do you break it down for them to understand that they're their dad or their mom is a narcissist like what do you say to them right and I said that's a great question what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a video just for you so if you're watching this video you know who you are um, I said I'll just do a, vid a video a YouTube video to make it a little bit longer to dive deep in helping parents out there who divorced or broke up with a narcissist that is still co-parenting with a narcissist how do you explain to the kids if the kids is a little bit older enough to understand so tip number one the first thing that I did is I try to listen listen to what the narcissist was doing to my daughter but then also listen to how that made my daughter feel so let's say there was a situation and I noticed that my my ex was gaslighting my daughter I knew it was gaslighting but she didn't know it was gaslighting right and my daughter is upset, my daughter is sad, my daughter is frustrated. So I would listen to her, right? I would say, okay, how does this make you feel, right? Do you think that this, how your father approached this, do you think that it was right? And if you don't think it's right, why not? And then after understanding her point of view and how she's viewing it and how she sees it, is then when I would turn around and I would ask her, do you know what the definition is of gaslighting? And if she says no, then I would sit with her and I would read through what is the definition of gaslighting. And then I would explain to her what I've experienced in the sense of gaslighting. And then I would allow her to take what she just said to me and then take what I just taught her to now put two and two together. Does she think that what her father just did was gaslighting? And that's how I approach it. I allow her to come to the realization, not portray any of my past experiences on my daughter because that's not fair. What that person did to me, did to me, and I had to learn. I had no idea what gaslighting was. I had no idea what narcissism was. So at the end of the day, neither, neither do our kids. But at the end of the day, you don't want to be that one to, you know, give a, give a, a, a bad image to their father or their mother. Because at the end of the day, it's just like, they might resent you to say, well, you made me hate my mom or dad or you made me look at my mom or dad this way. And you never want your kids to turn around and feel like you are trying to, you know, make their mom or their dad a villain. Because at the end of the day, no matter what, they didn't choose to come into this world. They didn't choose the parents that, you know, they decided to have. At the end of the day, they came in this world not knowing these toxic things that we decided to lay in bed and have, you know, abate a child 
with this person, right? But at the end of the day, we didn't know either, right? Because with a narcissist, they love bomb you, right? So we didn't know either. We thought we were getting this amazing person and that this person would be wonderful to have a child with, right? My situation was not that like, it was an accident that happened, but I think my narcissist knows what the hell he was doing when he did it. But anyways, so that's how I break it down. Because you, again, you never want to pin your parent, your, 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 your kid's father or mother again, against them, right? To make them feel like they're evil, right? You want them to gain the understanding themselves by under, understanding right from wrong and helping them to break it down how they feel, what they think of that. And then if you see certain tactics or certain situations that the narcissist is now using on your children, then you address it right th then and there to break it down for them to see and understand what that is, right? So if you see manipulation, you help your break it down and help your child to understand what is manipulation, right? And then again, just sitting down and having that conversation with them to help them to understand how are you feeling? How is this making you feel, right? Because at the end of it, and it makes no sense to talk to the narcissist because it didn't work with you. What makes you think that if you go to the narcissist now and you talk to the narcissist and you say, well, hey, you're doing this wrong to your child, you're doing, they don't care. At the end of the day, I'm telling you from experience, I did that. For a couple months now, I would try to sit and talk to my nurse and he would be victimized. He would be like, he would literally blame everything on my daughter. Everything. Not take into consideration what he's doing, what he's doing wrong, nothing, nothing. He would pay a victim, right? Even with his own child, he would play a victim. This is why I'm saying it's better to take your focus and focus on your child. And if you're in a situation where you see your narcissist constantly disrespecting you, constantly, you know, being belittling you in front of your child, even though you guys are not together, the best thing you can do, right, is not react. Don't react. Be the bigger person and and again, show your child that you are not you are not as, you're not vindictive. You're not stooping down to their levels, right? Because at the end of the day, kids, it's not about what you say. It's your actions. They, they look at you and then they mimic you whether they realize it or not later on, right? That's why it's so important to break down these things that their father or their narcissistic mother is doing so then you can help them to understand that it's wrong and allow them to see that it's wrong, right? By educating them. This is why you guys, my po my podcast, my YouTube channel, my everything, my community that I'm building is called the Wise Up, Rise Up community. Because at the end of the day, people who are experiencing this narcissistic abuse, whether it be a child, whether it be a significant other, does not know a lot of people do not know I, I was 18 years didn't know that I was in a narcissistic relationship you know my whole life I didn't know and realize that my father was a was a narcissist right that I lived in a narcissistic abusive environment my whole life I didn't know and this is why it's so important to educate your kids about this stuff right? Especially if their parent is a narcissist and you can't do nothing about it because at the end of the day, that's their mom or dad, right? And you never want to pin your kids against your mom and your dad, their, their mom and their dad. But at the same time, I get it. We love them. We care about them. We want to protect them. But the best way that we can protect them is leveling up for ourselves, being the best version that we can for ourselves, right? I know I haven't been saying tip this and tip that, but all what I'm sharing with you are all tips, right? That I'm implementing with my daughter, you know, dealing with her father being a narcissistic, you know, person and how we're co how I'm being able to parent my daughter. Sometimes because of his abusive ways, I have to step in and I have to be mommy and daddy. And sometimes dealing with a narcissistic parent, that's what you're going to have to do is just step up and not be a victim of those 
you know, those people and seeing your child go through it, you just got to be the best damn mommy or daddy you can for your child in that situation because that narcissist will not change even for their own kids because at the end of the day it's just an egotistical thing they don't see that they're doing anything wrong so if a person doesn't see that they're doing anything wrong or they never want to admit that they're wrong then they'll never be able to grow they'll never be able to change and that's something that when you embrace that and understand that and you find other ways to level up mentally and emotionally and just do what you need to do your child is going to see that and your child is going to move accordingly right your child is not going to get stuck and caught up with people like that in the future because at the end of the day you're making the change you're breaking the generational curse by implementing new things in new ways right of becoming knowledgeable of the patterns of this person not allowing it to affect you mentally and emotionally to take control over you so then what happens when you don't when you don't allow that to happen to you then your child is now going to grow and not allow that narcissistic parent to do the same thing so the change comes from you it comes from your actions it comes from you know your knowledge and from your knowledge and your actions then your child will see the same thing and now change accordingly. It, the biggest thing that I can share with you guys that I have learned in co-parenting with the narcissist and seeing that the narcissist be abusive now to my daughter is realizing that at the end of the day, I can't change that person, but I can change me. I can change the way I react to the situation. I can change how I, my perspective on the situation. I can change me not being a victim to the situation saying, you know, man, why did I have to have a kid with this person? Or why did, you know, why did this person have to be my, my daughter's father? Like, we then turn it into us being a victim and it being about us. But at the end of the day, the way I started to look at it is that you, all our kids have to walk their own path. And yes, it might be sucky to see certain things happen to our children when we're raising them, but they need to go through it. Everything that your child is enduring right now, whether the father or the mother is being spiteful and not, you know, being there or being abusive to you and all that other stuff is at the end of the day, they needed to go. They need to go through all this because this is what's going to help them elevate and grow in different ways later on in life. Right. So understand that. Just as much as life doesn't happen to you, life happens for you, for you, it's the same thing for your children. So the only way that you can make the situation better is just elevating, being the best damn you, you can be for your child being in that toxic situation, right? So I hope that this video has helped inspire you, motivated you, gave you some great tips on what you can do if you see the narcissist being narcissistic to your child, right? That's the, the best thing that you can, the best thing that you can do, right? Is put all the focus on you and your child and understanding that the only way that you can help your child is being the best, like elevating, reacting different, not allowing, you know, the, the narcissist's action towards your child affect you mentally, emotionally. That helps you to become stronger because teach your child um, all the tips and tools that you're learning, but not, you know, focusing it specifically on the parents. And then, you know, hearing that child out, hearing how that child feels, um, embracing how they feel. And again, just teaching them how to become knowledgeable about certain things, right? So thanks so much again, you guys, for tuning into my video. I really, really appreciate, appreciate it. I say in all my videos, each one, teach one, share the love, share the knowledge. If you found value in this video, again, Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me know what your thoughts are, right? And join the Wise Up Rise Up community today. I have my podcast called the Wise Up Rise Up Podcast on Anchor and Spotify. I have an amazing TikTok channel. I do videos on there every day to keep you inspired and motivated. So join the community today. I'll leave all the links in the comment. Thank you so much again for supporting my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Much love and keep wising up and rising up, okay? See you guys again on another video.